Hey everybody, this is Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com talking today about 401k contributions and how the uh, maximum amount that you can contribute actually got bumped up this year. Uh, so for the last few years, my family, uh, we haven't been really uh, putting too much into our retirement accounts just because we've had a variety of uh, issues crop up in our lives. We've had uh, major health issues with my wife being in the hospital for uh, a month or so with a major blood clot. Uh, we've had babies being born, baby being born. Uh, we've had uh, several other expensive situations that have just come up that we had to pay for. Because of that, we haven't been putting too much into our uh, retirement accounts, uh, mainly my 401k uh, through my job and Roth IRA. Um, after paying for all those things, though, uh, we finally got everything paid for this past year, um, and we then had a decision to make whether we wanted to uh, pay for an emergency fund then, or if we want to continue maxing out uh, 401k. After considering it, we decided we wanted to max out uh, our emergency fund and get 12 months of expenses in that emergency fund account, mainly because the economy hasn't been doing that great and we just wanted to have that safety net there just in case because I'm the only income and my wife doesn't work, she stays home with our son. So we maxed out that 12 month emergency fund, which is now done. We've max that out. We have enough to get by for an entire year if we need to. So we've got that done. We decided we finally wanted to start trying to max out my 401k and Roth 401k as well through my work. Uh, so this, this past, this coming year, this 2012, uh, the 401k uh, contribution maximum actually got bumped up to $17,000 again for 2012. Last year it was at $16,500. Uh, before that, it hadn't been bumped up sin, uh, since 2009, which when it went up to 16,500. Before that, it was at 15,500. Uh, the way they they come up with these things is they do the cost of living adjustment uh, by uh, looking at data as far as inflation and, and other things. Um, so this year was actually the first year that Social Security recipients saw an increase for several years as well. So. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. So, uh, the past uh, four years or so, we've seen about an increase in $1,500 uh, in the maximum contributions to a 401k slash Roth 401k because it's combined uh, value there. So this year, uh, we're going to be contributing up to the maximum of $17,000. How much is that over an entire year? Well, let's say you get uh, uh, two pay periods a month. That would mean every month you're going to be paying about $1,416.67 or so. Uh, if you had those two pay periods, it comes out to $708.33 per paycheck. So that's actually quite a bit of money. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are really able to max that out. We're thankful that we're in a position where we are able to, uh, even after uh, paying for other things as well. If you're over 50 this year, uh, the catch-up contribution limit for a 401k uh, did not get bumped up. That's still at $5,500, uh, which is still a pretty pretty good number there. Uh, employer contribution limits for uh, 401ks this year, total maximum for uh, that's still at 6% of the employee's salary. So a total maximum 401k contribution this year of uh, $33,000 uh, for the employer along with 17k for the employee, so a maximum of $50,000 into a 401k account. If you're over 50, add another $5,500 onto that, and uh, that'll be your total. Uh, if you can, I think it's a great idea to max out that contribution uh, to your 401k. Uh, get as much money in there as early as you can to start getting that uh, compound interest, and watch your uh, gains start adding up here. Hopefully the economy will ag agree with us all here and, and start doing a little bit better. But thanks for tuning in. Contributions up to $17,000. $17, Take advantage of it if you can.